Three poet frogs about to croak. It's summer, the ponds are filling up. It should be noted that for the human race, crawling out of the pond was not necessarily a smart move. <laughs> but here we are. Three poet frogs about to croak. It's a balmy early morning at the pond, quiet, except a mayfly snores, and a hungry toad dreams she swallows the entire universe with only one burp. The three poet frogs always wake up early to chat before those shameless dragonflies shatter the serenity absolute. The Scipios fly buys and come hither tail English. Attempted poeticide <laughs> is everyday stuff on this pond. Someone tried to push me off my favorite lily pad yesterday. I almost croaked. <laughs> Mutter's poet frog the first. A serious Shakespearean sonnet snob. You're just too sensitive for your own A B A B. C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, G, G's, be more accessible, croaks Poet Frog the second, the one with a tongue to watch out for. <laughs> I want a Poe fan to find my poem, juicy, gulp it down, oh, delicious. Poet Frog the third rolls his wise eyes, chants his omniscient dry or wet omnipotent cradle. Never indulge in a single syllable without a kind and exhilarating purpose that includes your final croak. A frisky dragonfly gets fresh with the air. Morning opens. Three poet frogs put there. Sleep in late and put their croaks on hold. Oh.